cleaner milking equipment. So I've already broken this down because I just filtered milk and um, now everything gets a cold water rinse and then a hot soapy water wash and then a sterilizing wash or rinse. Um, so here we go. machine it's got a rubber gasket um, I'm careful I, I'm careful to scrub all around here and then I also run my finger around and make sure there's no milk stone buildup and um, just we want to make sure there's no place for any germs to collect and bacteria to grow submerge this into water. I don't want this to get wet. Another 
may have seen me pulling the inflations in and out of the water. That was about three gallons of hot soapy water. And I like to do that to create a little friction in the lines to pick up any debris that may be stuck. There shouldn't be, but you never know. So that's what I do. So at this point, my lines are clean. Everything's washed with hot soapy water. I've rinsed the lines. My bucket is clean. I have a little bit of hot water in the bottom of the bucket. And we are using these tablets. Um, it is for sanitizing food contact surfaces, kills all germs. You could use bleach, and I used to use bleach, but I needed these anyways um, for some licensing here on the farm. Um, and so that's, that's what's approved. That's what I'll use. So that's next. I'm going to let this dissolve in the hot water for a minute before using it. So I used two tablets and about two and a half to three gallons of water. equipment is cleaned up here. It sits here to dry until it's ready to use tomorrow. I also keep a bucket here of the rags that I've used. These are dirty. They're sitting in bleach water and um, it's time for me to take those to the house to wash. So um, that's not easy in the way that I do that. So here's the, here's the milk. So that's it. Thanks for following as we milk our dolly and we um, clean our equipment. Have a good one.